Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter and in today's video we'll be testing out an upgrade that I did to the barrel tensioning system. Because it's so freaking cold out here in the forest, even though the sun is shining, I'll invite you back to my living room and I'll tell you all about it. This is not exactly my living room, but anyway, welcome to my cabin. What we'll be looking at in today's video is a barrel system that is both tensioned and solid all the way through. This piece you of course know, this is uh, the barrel and this is the sleeve from the barrel tensioning system. When you put it on top here, you can see that uh, there is some slack. Of course, this will disappear when you tighten down the barrel. But anyway, there is uh, just uh, a little piece of air between the barrel housing and the, the sleeve. So what you need is a carbon fiber sleeve like this that you can slide over the barrel housing like this. So it's a complete tight and perfect match. And when you've done this, you take the sleeve from the tensioning system and you slide it over like this. It needs to be a very tight fit to remove any kind of vibrations that uh, there might be. Uh, actually in this system it's too tight so I need to, uh, to sand this, uh, this sleeve down just a little bit but not too much because I want it to be a very tight fit and of course I need to cut it down in the right length as well. But anyway let's take a look at the components. Let's just uh, move the jam nut here and take the barrel apart. In here you will find of course the, the liner itself and you can see the carbon fiber sleeve here. So let's take a look at the components side by side. You can see we have the liner itself, the carbon sleeve, the barrel housing and the new piece and of course at the end here the piece from the barrel tensioner system. So the carbon fiber piece that you need has the measurements of 14 millimeters as an inner diameter so it fits over the barrel housing and it has an outer diameter of 16 so it fits inside the piece from the barrel tensioning system. So when you have it mounted on your gun you'll have a tension system that is completely free of vibrations and solid all the way through. So with that said let's go into the forest and start the testing. Now everything's been dialed in, so uh, let's start out with the 20 grainers. I have the regulator at uh, about 140 and the quick tune system at, I think it's, yeah, I'm gonna have to, to place a picture uh, with that because I can't see it without my glasses. But uh, anyway, let's uh, start out with the 20 grainers. It's actually not too bad. It's um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Let's go and uh, measure it up. Okay, so back with the target, and it looks pretty good. It looks like this, or as you can see here, it is a uh, 2.8 centimeter group, and it is in the very first attempt. 
so uh, pretty happy with that. After shooting this group of uh, 2.8 centimeters at uh, 932 feet per second, I started uh, playing around with the um, velocity just a little bit. And uh, as you can see here, uh, the ones on the top are, um, I don't remember which velocity it was, it was but uh, the one at the bottom right, uh, I shot at uh, 939 feet per second. This is a velocity that I found to be uh, very good uh, previously, so it actually worked uh, today as well. So, yeah, good results uh, with the uh, 20 grainers uh, in the new uh, barrel tensioning system. In between making videos, I'm always doing some kind of experiment. And in this part of the video, I'll take you in on a final part of a test that I've been carrying out over the last couple of weeks. In this test, I've been curious to see if I could shoot uh, different weights of slugs with the same rack pressure. The gun has been set up for 20 grainers, but I was curious to see if I could shoot the 13 and the 16 grainers with this rack pressure as well. When shooting the 13 grainers, I had a bit of an issue surrounding the velocity. Uh, when I just started shooting, the velocity would be very low, but as I kept shooting some shots, the velocity would uh, increase uh, and it would actually be pretty good, both with the spread and uh, the, the accuracy. But as soon as the time between each shot got up to more than 15 seconds, I would have to shoot a couple of shots again to uh, to get the velocity up and to get the accuracy. So that was just too much of a hassle, so I decided not to uh, to take uh, the 13 grainers any further and just focus on the 16 grainers. With the 16 grainers I didn't have these issues, so that's why I decided to take them here into the forest and shoot them at uh, 100 meters with the same rate pressure that I'm using on the 20 grainers. So now let's carry on the last part of the test with the 16 grainers here at uh, 100 meters. First attempt, that's definitely not bad. Let's go and uh, check it out. So, back with the target. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see, here or here, it is uh, also a uh, 2.8 centimeter group uh, in the very first attempt. So. Uh, both with the 16 and the 20 grainers, the new uh, improved or <laughs> modified barrel tensioning system uh, has shown to be uh, quite, uh, quite efficient. And what has also shown to be uh, quite efficient is that it is possible uh, to have a, a higher rack pressure. Uh, I'm always uh, the advocate for uh, having the rack pressure as low as possible. Uh, I actually put it uh, in the range so that my maximum velocity with the, uh, with the ammunition that, that I'm shooting is just around 20-25 feet per second uh, higher than the one that I'm aiming for. Uh, if you want to uh, to know more about that, you should check out my tuning video that I also have here on my channel. So, um, the test has shown to be that, uh, yeah, uh, you can have the gun uh, with uh, one rack pressure for at least uh, two different kinds of, uh, of slugs. 
So, yeah, and with that said, uh, let's go into the conclusion. Before we go into the conclusion, I just want to remind you to follow me on Instagram on viking.airgunner. It's a channel where I post pictures and give you updates on what I'm doing in between making of videos. One more thing that I want to mention is a Facebook group called FX177 Owners that I'm administrating. This is currently the only Facebook group where I'm active, so be sure to go in and follow that. But also be sure I don't <laughs> accept anyone into the group with a fake profile and uh, there are some questions that you need to uh, to answer before getting into the group and if you don't answer those you're not getting in and it's not anything uh, about you in particular you the one who's watching this video but it's just uh, all those uh, spammers and fake profiles, I just don't want them uh, on a Facebook group. The Facebook group is currently at uh, around uh, a thousand members, which is uh, pretty good. And there's a lot of activity going on there and some uh, very good discussion. So I would really advise you to go and, uh, and join that group. But with that said, let's go into the conclusion. I've already been covering it uh, pretty well, I think. Um, for the new... Um, modified barrel tensioning system, I think it has shown some uh, very good potential, uh, both with the, with the 20 grainers and the, uh, the 16 grainers. Uh, shooting groups at uh, 2.8 centimeters in the first try with both of them, and uh, with the 16 grainers being kind of an experiment because I'm shooting them at a different tune than I usually am. So with uh, both uh, experiments being a success, I think it's time to uh, round up this video and thank you all for watching. So until next time, take care and pew, shoot safe.